Hello, my name is Claire Moulton. I'm the publisher at the Company of Biologists and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to transformative journals. Plan S is an open access initiative that's come into play from the 1st of January 2021 for some Coalition S funders. Hybrid journals are specifically targeted for change and transformative journal status is one way to ensure that your hybrid journals are compliant for your Plan S authors during the transition period January 2021 to December 2024. I thoroughly recommend looking at the Plan S website where there's more information about transformative journals and the guidelines are updated from time to time. A transformative journal has publicly announced a commitment to transition to full open access as soon as possible and no later than when 75% of its research content is OA. In addition, the journal must gradually increase the share of open access research content year on year and there are two ways of determining your target. One is that you need to have at least 5% points increase in absolute terms. For example, moving from 10% away to 15% and from 15% to 20%. The second route is that you also have to grow by at least 15% in relative terms. This generally applies at higher percentages of open access and means that you have to show 15% growth in the number of open access articles that you're publishing year on year. Confused? I'm not surprised. You have to choose whichever of those targets is the greater and the best recommendation is to go to Plan S website, find the transformative journal calculator, you put in the numbers for your journal, it will calculate the two different routes to produce targets and then you choose the higher one as your target for the coming year. You also need to produce an annual public report on your progress so that Plan S and other parties can see how well you're transitioning towards open access. There's a great deal of transparency behind a transformative journal. For example, transparent pricing so that institutions purchasing a subscription to a transformative journal know that they're only paying for the remaining subscription content and avoiding any perception of so-called double dipping. There's also transparent metrics around your editorial um, services, such as speed to publication and acceptance rates, and how those different types of service contribute to the charge that you make for open access publishing. You also need to produce comparative metrics for open access articles compared with your subscription content in terms of usage, citations and the online attention in the form of altmetrics. So how and why do you go about this? On the Plan S website, you'll find a list of compliant transformative journals. It's a good way to check out what other journals have done along this route and what they're reporting. There's a link to apply for transformative journal status. We have to provide um, lots of information about your journals um, as you start the transformative journal uh, journey. Then there's the all important transformative journals reporting package, which will explain a lot of what I've been talking about in more detail. There's a transformative journal checklist that tells you what you need to do, a calculator to help determine which of the targets you're aiming for in the coming year, and there's an annual report template. Your rewards are that you'll be providing a, a compliant route for your Plan S authors. And at the same time, you'll retain author choices for those authors who are not yet ready for compulsory open access during this transition period, 2021 to 2024. And it provides a positive path towards open access. Your reward will be that when your authors go to the journal checker tool, no matter what their funder or their institution, they will be told yes, publishing in your journal has a compliant option for them. Thank you very much.